Hello everyone and welcome to today's CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Fred and we're going to be talking today about how to perform a simple loft. Now what a loft is, is an extrusion between two separate profiles. Now these profiles can be different and this will allow you to create unique or organic shapes that you would not normally be able to create using a standard extrude boss base. So we're going to start off, we're going to create a sketch. And in this case, we're going to go from, say, a circle to an ellipse. So we want the end to be flared out, and we want the inside to be just a, a true circle. I'm going to be a little lazy about it today, so I'm just going to stick down a circle right now and not necessarily dimension it, but remember to always dimension all your stuff and fully define as you go along. Otherwise, your stuff can move around on you. I'm going to show you a little trick to create a second plane that we are going to be doing our loft to. We're going to start from the circle. We're going to loft up to an ellipse that's going to be above it. So if you want to create a, a top plane or another plane referencing the top plane, you can hit reference geometry and hit plane and go through all those steps. Or you can actually select the plane over here on the left, hold down control, grab one of these little dots. It can be any of them. I usually grab a corner and then just drag it up. And that creates a new plane. You can tell it how far you want, let's say six inches. And we're gonna press okay. Now with that plane already pre-selected, we're gonna press sketch and we're gonna go right here. And we're gonna just create an ellipse, uh, which we're just gonna stick out, say we're gonna make it a little bit bigger than the circle. And then we're going to do this and make the inside smaller than the circle. If you have all the measurements to do this, you can put these in, but I do not have the measurements currently and I will just stick this in here for now. We're going to exit the sketch, and now we have two profiles. We're going to be just get this into a spot where we can see it nicely. There we go. Now we're going to go up here onto the Features tab, and we're going to select Loft. A boundary is very similar, but we're not going to get very we're not going to get into that right now. We're going to just go with simple lofts. So to loft, you just select the profiles. In this case, I had that pre-selected. I'll reselect it. But we're going to go from the circle, so we're just going to go ahead and select circle. And then we're going to select the ellipse. And you can see this has already generated the shape. You can see the, pro, the, uh, the preview of it, which is good. That means that we are pretty much all set. But there's one thing to pay attention to here. There are these little green dots. These little green dots with the line attached to it control the amount of twist. So generally speaking, with a shape like this, you really don't want a lot of twist. You do this, yeah, it, it may look cool, but this is not necessarily what we want to have happen. A little trick that I've learned over the years is to just go into one of the main planes here. So for example, I'm just going to go over to the front plane and then just max these things to one of the sides. If you do that and then take a look at the isometric view, it should be generally very straight. Now, because of the geometry and how I set this up and these edges don't line up very well, I would have done it in line with this right here but I don't have that easily accessible to me. I can kind of get it close. I can do that, and then that will straighten it out. And we're, we're pretty close. I feel okay with this shape. So we're gonna go ahead and press the check mark. Now that we have our lofted surface here, you can still see a little bit of the twist. If you have uh, real view graphics on, you can see that there is a bit of twist here, as well as you can check this inside of the evaluate with the zebra stripe uh, and curvature see how the zebra stripes are kind of got a little wave to them. Uh, the curvature may look a little bit funny, but in this case, it looks pretty even and balanced, which is good. Now for this specific example, we wanted this hollow out, hollowed out. So we just want to make this so it is like a ferrule, essentially. We're going to go ahead and select features. We're going to simply shell. We're going to select the top and the bottom faces because we want those gone. These will remove all those faces. We want this about, a, let's say, we'll just do uh, 0.1 inches for now. That is totally fine. Press the check mark and bam. There you go. That is how you create a simple lofted body. You can do this for many organic shapes and uh, you can loft through multiple profiles. There's a lot of advanced stuff that we can get into, but we would wind up making this video over an hour long. We just want to talk about the simplicity and the, sim the, the simplest way to create a loft today. My name is Fred, and thank you for tuning in to today's CAD Dimensions Tech Tip, and we'll hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.